So, uh, turns out that Leonard Nimoy has passed on. Unfortunately, he was hospitalized yesterday, uh, February 26th, 2015, uh, with complaints of chest pains. Um, he had, uh, it, it's it suffered for a while with a with a with a lung disease and uh, you know what I'm not gonna pretend that I was a, a a follower of a lot of his work aside from Star Trek and Transformers so that's all I'm gonna say about it in terms of like uh, in terms of just you know, his life and subsequent death earlier, well, it was announced today that he passed away, but, um, look, I, I paid attention to the, you know, a little bit of the original Star Trek series, um, I watched the movies, uh, and he voiced a character in the Transformers movie, uh, 1986, uh, Galvatron, which, you know, this is bad comedy, it's, I can quote that movie in my sleep. Um, so you know when when he when the announcements came that he was you know hospitalized for severe chest pains, I'm like, oh my god, it's Michael Jackson all over again, because you you kind of have an idea. I mean, he's an older guy. You know, he's he's had he's had this illness for a while. Um, you know, and it, so it's not like I was rooting for it or I was like, I knew it, haha. But I kind of saw it coming. Because it was like, you know, he's he's been hospitalized, you know, he's he's an older guy, you know, he's he's lived a long life. So, um, just, Leonard Nimoy, I feel like, is part, was part of something that basically built, helped build uh, what, what I, what, what my interests are and stuff like that. So, I gotta give him, I gotta give him you know, his own, his own mention. If I did one for Monty Ohm, I have to do one for Leonard Nimoy, so it, it's, it goes without saying, just hope he's in a better place now. I'm not a religious guy, I'm not a, I'm not a praying guy, but, you know, wherever he is now, I hope he's found peace. That's all I can say, really. Um, so, I'll put some links down below of some work of his that I, that I appreciated, and, uh, what are your, what are, what are your thoughts, what do you guys want to say? Um, for for right now, all I can really say is that you know he was, you know, the words that are going to be overused in mainstream media. He was inspirational as Spock. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just gonna say he was inspirational. All right, that's he was part of something that 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 made that was part of what made me who I am today. So rest in peace, my friend. And like I said, I hope you find the hope you find a you find a peace wherever you are. Ah, boy. Death kind of makes you think about your own mortality, huh? <laughs> so to keep this video a little a little lighter than uh, than I uh, than I was about to make it in terms of, you know, talking about life, death and stuff like that, leave some comments down below. How did uh how did uh, you know, Leonard Nimoy impact your your interest in 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 certain in certain entertainment mediums, um, I will leave, like I said, leave some links down below. I'm starting to ramble now, so I'm going to cut this video short. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, live long and prosper. And, uh, what was a line from, what was a line from Transformers that they rehashed from Star Trek? You seem to, to, you Autobots, you seem to be you know, misinformed, you know, good of the many, how the way the needs of the few, as he, as he did his, uh, he did his best Star Trek rendition as, uh, <laughs> as, um, Sentinel Prime in, in Dark of the Moon, so, Jesus, I can't believe they used that line, but, at any rate, um, wow, I didn't need more, he's gone. You know they're gonna do something on this, on the Big Bang Theory, <laughs> so, you know, Sheldon, he loves Leonard Nimoy, the character, anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, goodbye, take care, and uh, rest in peace, Leonard.